What's up guys, Ali here from iSocially.com and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about TikTok analytics and we'll look at two different tools that you can use to look at the analytics of your TikTok account or maybe you want to analyze someone else's account and look at their growth number, their engagement rate and other metrics. Before we jump into this video, you know what to do, right? Subscribe and hit the bell icon. Now, first thing I want to talk about, why should you care about analytics? And answer should be very simple. If you don't look at the analytics, if you don't look at the data, even for our own accounts, we don't know what's working. We don't know what we need to do more. We don't know what our engagement rate is. So analytical tools, they can teach us a lot about the current situation of our profiles. And also they can tell us, they can give us hints or pointers about the growth. All right, now let's jump into these two tools that I want to show you inside this video. The first one is Ninja Lytics. If you have used this tool for Instagram, the TikTok site is very similar. So first of all, here's the URL, tiktok.ninjalytics.com. That's the URL you want to save, remember, or bookmark. And let's do my username. So I'm going to look at, uh, put my TikTok username Ali Mirza 2k hit analyze it's gonna take a few seconds and then it's gonna show me all kinds of cool data so there you go that's me how many followings how many followers so I'm approaching 12,000 not bad and here's my follower growth so you can see something I did in November which I know what I did, I kind of changed the style of my videos. It increased the, 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 the trajectory of my follower growth. So my follower growth here was slower in October and September, but in November and December, it has been faster growth for my account. If you scroll down, here's the daily follower growth and you can see it's so helpful. So whatever I did on November 18th and then uh, December 5th was really awesome because I gained almost 3,000 followers so I can go back to that piece of content and then maybe try to replicate that try to do it again or a different type of uh, content which is similar uh, so that's why this data and analytics are super super important here's the the likes received likes given so this was the first tool again tiktok.ninjalytics.com that's the URL and all kinds of data that you can see on any public TikTok profile. The second one is also very cool. So let me go to the second link. So here's the second website that you want to save, cloudmeter.com. And you can enter the username and analyze TikTok, any public TikTok profile. Simple and clean analytics. And if you scroll down, so basically they've done analytics on some really popular creators on TikTok already. And here's the list. Let's actually look at one of these. So Lauren Gray. So when I click on her profile, so here's the, the data. And it looks like I can PDF export and I can also compare different users. That's awesome. And if you want to receive email updates, you can log in and register to this tool. Not a bad idea. But first of all, here's the kind of summary of our account. So followers, how many likes, videos, engagement rate, to, uh, almost 3%. That's really cool. And here is the follower, followers evolution chart. So that's the growth of our followers. Seems like you, know, you can also select the range. So if I wanted to look at that range, I could do that. Here's the like, so followers evolution chart and likes. And then the engagement rate, I believe they just added this. That's why you're seeing zeros or like no engagement here and then just added. I believe this tool, they just added the engagement rate. So that's why this data is not there. Account stat summary. So this says really, really cool. How many followers she's gaining every single day. That's awesome. Likes, videos, engagement rate. Yeah, so before December 15, they were not looking at the engagement rate. So. We don't have that data, but really cool. And this is really cool about this tool, the future projection. So if she continues with everything that she's doing right now, in 30 days, she's going to be most likely at this follower's number, three months, six months, one year. How cool is that? 
and she's doing 40,000 followers per day. That's amazing. And here's the comparison and different engagement rates on TikTok. If your account is less than 1,000, you have the most engagement, but as your followers grow, as your account becomes bigger on the platform, your engagement rate kind of goes down. So she is right here at 5.3 in this range. And then here's the, the latest videos from Lauren Gray. How cool is this? And then here's the list of more videos data on her recent video content, video stats. So you see how powerful this tool is. You can analyze your own account or you can analyze any public account. Let me actually put mine in there. And I should be able to look at the, the data. So many followers, following, likes, videos, engagement rate. And I'm going to see similar type of stats for myself. And then here is the video data. So more detailed video data and then the, the videos stat chart. So super, super interesting, cool and free tools, right? So the first one we talked about was tiktok.ninjalytics.com and the second one we looked at was the cloud meter these are the the tools that you can use to do uh, data analysis analytic look at the analytics on any public tiktok account yours your competition maybe your clients your potential clients and have fun with the data learn from the data so you can improve your growth and other metrics of the kpis on the platform thank you so much for watching before you go subscribe and hit the bell icon and I will see you in the next video. Bye.